Hello everyone. So now we are past October 14, 2025. And as you probably already know, the support for Windows 10 has ended. This means that Microsoft will no longer provide security and bug fixes or new features for computers running Windows 10. If you still have a computer running this version of the operating system and you want to keep the same setup, the best option right now is to enroll your computer into the extended security updates program, which will extend the support for another year until October 13, 2026. This program delivers security updates only. You won't get bug fixes or new features. The program is actually a paid service, but there are options that you can use so you don't have to pay that one time $30 or equivalent, depending on your area. First, there are three requirements. First, you have to have a computer running Windows 10 version 25H2 with the latest updates already installed. And to do that, you just need to go to the settings app and to check the version of Windows that you're running, just go to system and then go to the about page. And under Windows specifications, you can see the version that is installed on your computer. Now, if you want to check for updates, go to Update and Security, and then click on Windows Update, and then click on Check for Updates and make sure that your computer has all the available updates already installed. And yeah, even though there is past October 14, 2025 updates that have been released before the end of support, you will still be able to download them on your computer. Once the updates are installed, you might need to restore the device. And then it is important to mention that you will need to use an administrator account that is linked to the Microsoft account. And to make sure that that's the case, you can go to the settings app, more specifically to the accounts page. And then on your info, you will see your account type, which in this case is administrator. And this is linked to a Microsoft account. And the easiest way that you can tell is because right here on this page, it reads sign in with a local account instead. If you were using a local account, it will read sign in with a Microsoft account instead. Now, another requirement is to be syncing some of your data to the Microsoft Cloud using the Windows Backup application. And you can do that by opening the Backup app and then make sure that you have your settings or files syncing to the cloud. Now, before enrolling, I also wanted to point out that we also have another option, which is to redeem a thousand points if you're using the Microsoft Rewards program. So if you happen to be using that service, you can just redeem the points without having to sync your data to the cloud. The best way to go by enrolling and choosing the best option is just to go to the settings tab and then on update and security, go to Windows Update and then just click the enroll now button. And then we just need to click next. And here's the thing, because the computer is already meeting the requirements, you don't get to choose the way that you enroll your computer. Now, if the system doesn't detect that you have all the requirements to enroll your computer, you might see a screen like this, letting you choose different options. Now, if you have more than one device, you can enroll up to 10 computers with the same Microsoft account. Now, in order to enroll, we just need to click the Add Device button. Now, keep in mind that if this is the first computer that you're enrolling into the service, the previous screen will look a little bit different, but at the end are the same steps. And as you can see right now, the computer is now enrolled into the security updates program and it will receive security updates until October 13, 2026. Then we just need to click the done button. And if you scroll down, actually it might be on the right side on your computer, depending on how you are resizing the settings up, you will see now that we have a message letting you know that your PC is now enrolled into the extended security updates program. And that's it. With that, we have confirmed that you can actually enroll a computer after the end of support of Windows 10. Now, if you can find the option to enroll your computer, check the video description to find a link to a tutorial with troubleshooting steps to fix this issue. Of course, the best option is to upgrade to Windows 11. But if you want to stay a little longer on this version, you can. Now, even though you can use Windows 10 a little longer, it is important to know that you won't be getting any bug fixes, maintenance updates, or new features. So as the time goes on, Windows 10 will become more incompatible and you might start to see some performance issues. So this is not an option that you can use to keep using your computer the same way for another year. This is just a temporary solution until you figure out how to upgrade to Windows 11 or switch to another computer or to another platform. And that's it. Leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.